Hi friends, this is Becky from ThePinkSamurai.com and today's Enamel 101 video is all about packaging. So what to do once your pins finally get there. So um, I'm going to dive into a bag that I already have that I, <laughs> I need to package um, just to show you what I do. So when you get your pins, they will be packaged like this. You will have usually a hundred in a bag and they will be covered in either styrofoam or um, packaging material and in a very heavy cardboard box. <laughs> um, so we open them up and this is actually the February pin for the Pink Samurai and Friends um, designed by Joanna Behar who's amazing. So this one's a little fancy and um, it will have been released by the time this is out so no spoilers. <laughs> but okay so when you get them they come in little individual plastic bags. So what I like to do because I'm impatient shoop, I cut them out. Um, you think, oh, maybe I can reuse these tiny little bags. You're not going to. You can recycle them. Just recycle them. It's fine. Um, so, you take it out. This is fancy. How cute is this pen, by the way? So, I have this amazing pen, and what am I going to put it on? I have to get it. I have to get a backing card. So, um, fun backing card options. The ones I like to use for the Pink Samurai and Friends because I like to keep the cost down. Um, I do free shipping on those, so um, I have to <laughs> keep everything kind of as bare bones as possible so I can make it worth it for everyone else and for me. But I use Vistaprint and get their um, business cards. So business cards are pretty standard. Most pin makers use business cards as their backing cards because they are cheap, they look nice, and um, you can get them, you can get any design you want on them. And Vistaprint always has coupons, so just Google like Vistaprint coupon, or I think I might have a code. I'll put it down below. I don't know if I do. Um, if there's not one there, I don't. Uh, but yeah, usually I can get 20% off or wait until they have a big sale and order a bunch all at once. So that's what I did. This is my Black Friday <laughs> um, purchases. So for the backing card, I have my name. I've got her logo since we collaborated, and then I have the month and our info on the back. So I think for backing cards, it's always important to have your business name um, and always important to have your website and Instagram, I think, because Instagram is pretty huge for pit makers. So um, definitely, definitely, that's the least amount of information. Some people go nuts and they do different backing cards for different pins, and it looks awesome. Um, I unfortunately don't have the time to do that, so I stick to a standard thing. So for my subscription service, um, it all looks the same except for the logo and the information on the back. Um, I keep, uh, I just change that out and I just like to keep it consistent. And then um, for my personal, for my shop, I do a custom songs. So I think this is like two and a half by three and a half three. Um, so you can see the difference in size. This is a little bit fatter and I just like that. Um, I also have compostable plastic for these, which um, plastic sleeve, which I think is nice. Um, I couldn't find that for this size, unfortunately, but the plastic can be recycled, which is good. Um, so I guess that kind of leads into the next thing I'll show you. Um, oh, I don't know where my clutches went. Okay. Well, I'm going to stick this on here. There's nothing too exciting about sticking a, a pin to the backing card, but how cute is that, right? So fun. So something to think about when you're doing your backing cards is um, what you're going to do on the back. So make sure the clutches aren't um, messing up anything there. Um, and and so they don't punch through any vital information, you know. <laughs> but yeah, so when you're getting them made, they don't take nearly as long as pins. So I use Vistaprint. I use um, catprint.com for the custom for this. They have some cool different finishes and um, they round the corners and all that kind of stuff. I think Vistaprint does custom stuff too, um, but 
I also like it because it's called cat print. Oh yes, I remember. I was going to talk about packaging on top of that. So some people don't like to, they don't use anything. They'll just send you this and your thing and your package and that's fine. Um, some people want, um, they wrap it in bubble wrap to keep it safe or keep it from scratching, things like that. Um, I like to just put it in a cello bag. So I will link down below exactly which one this is because it was kind of hard to find one that fit a, um, a business card specifically and with room for this. So I'll link that down below so you know exactly what to get. Um, but I like to do this just because it keeps it from scratching, um, it keeps water out, I think it just protects the pen really well. Um, I don't like, I think doing bubble wrap takes a lot of time and um, I don't like sending it on its own. I just think it looks a little bit more finished for just personally. It's just what I like. Okay, so you've got all your pins out of their little mini bags. You are, you have stuff all pressed and packaged. It can take a long time, you guys, it really can. Um, I am lucky now that I have people that can help me do it um, because it is, it can be time consuming. I would spend many nights uh, after my son went to bed uh, begging my husband and watching The Office and just packaging pins. Um, but, okay, so you've got all that done. Now for shipping, I like to use these. I use um, a local place in Austin called Ecobox. Um, it's ecobox.com, I think they ship too. Um, but I can go pick them up. They have a bunch of locations, which is really nice. Um, but I like using the plastic, also recyclable, um, bubble wrap because that way everything is nice it's flat you want to pack things as flat as possible for the post office so if you have multiple pins you kind of want to you want to slide them in um, and kind of sandwich them a little bit so it's as flat as possible for your post office and um, I like these plastic ones because the I used craft envelopes for a long time but if it's raining they get wet and gross um, they can tear in the machines it can just get kind of grody basically and I have not had any problems with the plastic at all and these look really great with um, I have a Dymo 4 XL so you just slap the label on and it looks really professional really clean um, I love getting pink and sparkly packages in the mail, but that is also another cost. And I am kind of cheap. I'm a little utilitarian. I like the packaging on the pin to look cute. And I like to stuff a couple of extra goodies in there, but I think this needs to be as simple as possible for the mail. So it could just, I just wanted to get where it needs to go. <laughs> okay, one thing I forgot to tell you about. When you're taking the clutches off, if you have two per pin or even one per pin for like a hundred, that gets a little crazy and your little fingers will go nuts. So, oh, just pliers, just little joy pliers. It'll make it so much easier. It'll go so much faster. And considering it's kind of the most boring part of <laughs> pins, uh, faster is better. Okay, so today we learned about how your pins come delivered, how to uh, put them in their packaging, how to package them to ship, and all that good stuff. So I hope it was helpful. Um, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe and uh, share it with your friends if you found it helpful. Thanks so much. Bye!